Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the Makana Man at YouTube with another video regarding my trip in Japan and Tokyo. I'm good friends with YouTuber Japanese Sandman and Robot Adventures and they agreed to meet me at Diver City to have a look at the giant Gundam and all the Gundam Front attractions. In the link below I highly recommend the checking out of their channels and subscribing if you enjoy said content. Uh, warning, Robot Adventures content is objectable and could be offensive. Well, at lunch I met Japanese Sandman by the Gundam. Uh, just to find out on the phone that Robot Adventures, Reuven, was uh, running quite late. So we're lucky to see the midday uh, Gundam show where he moved his head up and down and blew a lot of smoke to various music. He is a lot smaller than I expected and that cockpit looks fairly cramped for someone of my stature so that blows my fantasy of uh, piloting one. In the large event space uh, accompanying the Gundam and the uh, mall we had a big kiosk uh, full of all sorts of uh, goodies and souvenirs slightly overpriced special edition kits in memory of uh, the Gundam uh, also the uh, Gundam Front Cafe uh, unfortunately we were unable to attend due to a long line or some drama and a small stage which had these uh, young uh, girls, uh, pop idols, doing some sort of performance with uh, crazy otaku thrashing around. Reuven eventually uh, rocked up and we uh, cracked some beers and did lunch. From my understanding or research, the Gundam is going to be a long uh, term addition to Diver City. But they had this uh, Gundam front experience on the 5th or 6th floor of this mall. Now the actual experience or display which you pay a fair amount of money for we didn't attend uh, due to rumours of it uh, being not so good and my friend seeing it and not enjoying it too much himself. To the left of it was the Gunpla Builders World Cup final entries of each major country including the world champion. Along the outer part of the walls we have these glass cabinets with all these snap kits on display including some very rare models and very early uh, kits from the start of the franchise. It was interesting to look at the quality of each kit before we saw the masterpieces in the middle. Unfortunately my uh, hand wasn't very steady and the photos were not too crash hot and due to the nature of these glass cabinets taking photos is horrible and I got a uh, reflection of Reuven and Japanese Sandman's faces so I apologise for the censoring. Immediately I recognised two extremely familiar models a few months ago in Sydney and looking around at each country the work here was just absolutely amazing, especially the detail and the amount of uh, complicated work that has gone into the World Champion kit. If you're interested in seeing better photos, uh, GundamInfo.com has them and also the link below my photo bucket account has some excellent photos to closely study which I highly recommend if uh, you do wish to enter in these uh, competitions. The workmanship among each kit, both the juniors and the seniors, is just absolutely a fantastic experience and I was so overjoyed to be able to uh, see them all and cover this event. Entry to the model display is free as well which completely makes up for the supposedly Gundam Front uh, display disaster being overpriced and whatnot. Most likely pays for the space. Uh, that aside, uh, the group spent a fair amount of time uh, discussing about these models and uh, spending some time looking at them. As amazing as they are, we slowly followed around uh, deeper into the complex where they had a large shopping display area from Bandai. Uh, many limited uh, items, uh, more of the high shelf, 
high priced bits and pieces clothing, glasses, jewellery nothing in this uh, largish store was really with any of our price range though Japanese Sandman did uh, say if any Cubelli items do appear that he does not possess he would be willing to <laughs> shell out for I do have to admit the theming and the layout of the store was pretty damn cool among the items for sale we did see a lot of uh, Bandai made kits and Bandai made dioramas on display which may have done previous tours a small display case of the latest kits soon to hit the market including a lot of uh, Age Gundam uh, promotion and promotion of the other animations. The staff members were in the absolute spirit of the event and quite energetic wearing the uh, Federation jackets as their staff uniform and one particular item that I really eyed off and wish I could have taken home was the large framed very old school box arts of the kits from the 80s the first grades and some more rarer box arts that would be absolutely sweet to display but transportation is always a problem at the end of the day I had an absolute amazing time socializing with uh, YouTubers in another location. These two guys are good friends of mine and loved meeting them for the first time. I do thank them for coming out and showing me around. Definitely uh, check out their channels. And in the end, uh, the two things I really, really wanted to do in Tokyo, visiting the giant Gundam and not knowing it was on display, the champion kits from the Bandai's World Cup has been some sort of an ambition of mine. Thank you very much for watching and until next time I hope you've enjoyed this and if you have the means to check it out yourself.